mothers play a critical role in the family, juggling many roles, not just within the unit, but also in their own lives. The health of the family is intrinsically tied up with the mother as the primary care provider. Quite often, mothers do this at the cost of their own well-being. May 14th is Mother's Day, a day dedicated to celebrating and honoring mothers and motherhood. The Detol NDTV Banega Swast India campaign spoke to Nirja Birla, founder and chairperson Empower, an initiative of Aditya Birla Education Trust, to understand how mothers should take care of their mental well-being. What really motivates you to do so much in life, give back to society with you know that unresolving faith? And what defines you the most as a mother, a philanthropist, a mental health activist, an educationist? So much you do. Um, yeah, thanks so much for inviting me. Lovely to be speaking with you. Um, I think the role that defines me the most is that of a mother. Mm. I think it kind of covers everything mm. uh, because I do believe that you need to be everything to be a mom. Yes. So, uh, but you know that apart, I think that is something that is closest to me, mm. um, and I think that gives me the most amount of joy as well. Postpartum depression is again something which a lot of women go through. People didn't even know what it was. You openly spoke about it with your daughter Ananya. What is the message you would like to give to so many women who are going through it and they don't even know what's happening to them? Yeah, and that exactly what happened to me actually when mm. I went through it post uh, uh, Ananya was born. I was taken by total surprise. I mean, mm. I just didn't know what had hit me. I didn't even know something like that existed, and yeah. which is what you know. Later on in my journey, hmm. you know, now I realized that had I known back then, had was there awareness, I would have definitely been able to deal with it much better. Um, so I think for everybody who goes through postpartum, I think the first thing to understand is that it's okay if you're going through it, hmm. and I think it's not fair to feel guilty. One hmm. feels really guilty because you're supposed to be very happy. Hmm. You've just given birth to a child. Uh, but here you are just not understanding you know what's happening and you're just yeah. sort of literally either weeping or just not wanting to do anything hmm. uh, but it, it's really okay if you feel like that and just know that it will pass you just hmm. got to be patient with yourself give yourself that extra amount of care and compassion you really yeah. need to be kind to yourself we are, do you think women are more disadvantaged disadvantage when it comes to mental health as well because it's the suicide rates are higher uh, depression also you see is higher in women, anxiety, eating disorders, the pressure of doing everything right. Women uh, to a large extent are disadvantaged because mm. I think India and generally it's such a patriarchal society Unfortunately, and yeah. that comes has its own host of uh, mm. you know issues that we mm. are dealing with on a pretty much regular and a daily basis. There is a lot of pressure like you're saying yeah. the pressure to you know always be perfect yeah. uh, in, your, in your married life you have to be the perfect daughter or yeah. perfect wife perfect mom, uh, you know, as compared to your spouse, mm. the woman is always expected to be giving, you know, to be more giving, mm. to sort of sacrifice. Um, if the, if any change or adjustment has to be made, it has to be done by the wife and not yeah. the husband. Yeah. So um, that change also needs to you be know, that, So there's a lot of, there's a lot of unsaid and said pressure, but there's mm. a lot of non-verbal pressure as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, that definitely takes a toll on your mental health. I mean, there's no question about it.